What's going on guys? <clears throat> Today, I'm going to show you how I use the screen page to find profitable sports bets. <clears throat> so the beauty about the screen page is that it just extracts all of those odds from all the sports books and lays it in a nice, like organized way, pretty much. You could see, so because it's using real time data, these lines are always changing. Like you could see right now, uh, the Knicks heat spread just changed a minute ago. Um, and it also highlights you which are the most profitable bets. So we could look at this Heat Knicks game, for example. All the books have it at <clears throat> plus four and a half. Pinnacle is slightly favoring plus four and a half. And for an extra three cents, you can get uh you can get the heat at plus five, uh, which now gives you the option to push instead of losing on five. If they were to lose by five, you were just you were, you know, you were to push. So for that three cents of, of extra juice, I guess you could call it, um, you're giving yourself another out, which is massive. So that's how I use the screen page. I usually just scroll through. I look at all the lines, look at all the bets. Let's go to total points. We could see, okay, is everyone on, you know, right here between 236 and a half and 237? Just pretty much scan it, see if there's any big outliers. Uh, the reason why I look here so often and not always the EV page is because in order for a bet to be on the positive EV page, it, it pretty much, it compares odds. It doesn't compare lines. So, so let's just say it's the night before all these books are saying that this game is going to be at 237, but I don't know. Barstool is saying that it should be at 235. Well, because none of these books have you know come out with their alt lines yet, it's not going to show up on the EV page, even though they're two points off which would result in a positive EV bet. Um, but because they don't have alt lines, which means they don't have other odds, it wouldn't show up. Uh, so that's why, you know, the screen page is super, super useful um, when looking for just, you know, flat out mistakes in the market in terms of just lines, not odds. Um, but I also like to use it a lot for uh, DFS platforms, price picks, underdog, stuff like that. Because I'm just going to go to rebounds. We'll just scan through that and see if we can find any good picks. Um... Let's see. Okay, so like this one is perfect. So Jordan Nuora, uh over six re or over under six rebounds on prize picks. You could see that all the other books are at six and a half. Now, you know, you look at this play and it's like, okay, Grayson Allen's at three, everyone's at two and a half, but but look how much they're favoring the over, right? Minus 150, minus 150, minus 155. And they're really not liking the under. So I wouldn't take a play like this, <clears throat> but Nuora over six is really solid. Reason being. Look where all these other books are at. They're close to like plus 100, if not in the minuses. Plus 100, plus 104, plus 100, minus 108, minus 105, minus 108. So it kind of ties back to the same idea with that heat bet, which is you're giving yourself another out by having the option to push. Okay, now it might be like, well, I don't want to push. I want to win. Yes, but I'd rather push than lose. You know what I mean? So you look at this and you're saying, okay, the books are 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 they're favoring the under at six and a half, but not by that much. Some books are really keeping it tight. We're getting it for a half a rebound less, uh, which gives us, like I said, now we still win on seven, but now we don't lose on six. So this is why the screen page is so valuable is because a play like this, no other books are giving you at six. So it's not going to show up on the EV page. It won't show up on the low hold page. It will show up on the odds on the, uh, the screen page. Uh, and you just have to kind of scroll through it and see, okay, this is where the value is. I'm, I'm getting, you know, a half a rebound cheaper and, and I'm really not giving up that much juice. You could see taking under six and a half wouldn't really be that great of a play because you could see they're not favoring it that much. And the, you know, the no vig or the, uh, the implied odds for a five or six leg is minus 119. So there's really not much there, but there's a ton on the over, a ton on the over at, uh, you know, minus 119, considering I would say a half a rebound is usually worth you know, maybe 50 cents or so. Um, so I like it a lot. And and that's kind of just what I'm using it for. And, you know, you can look at so many different sports. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of tennis. So if we want to look at tennis, we can look at total games. Right here, it shows you all the games. It shows you everything. Um, I've also been able to find some really good price pick tennis plays on here too. Um, you know, here's 22, 22 and a half. So there's not much there. Uh, but you just kind of scroll through the whole thing and, and you you find uh, kind of where there's value. So, the and like I said, the great thing about it is it just puts it all on one page, easy to maneuver, okay? 
if you, even if you just want to use this for line shopping, even if you saw an over under that was like, you know, minus 105 on one book and minus 115 on the other book, take it out minus 105. Even if it isn't a quote unquote positive EV bet, you're still getting the best bang for your buck. You're still giving yourself the most potential profits if your bet was to win. Um, I know that like for me, I don't have the time nor the energy to go to like every single book and look up their odds just for a few cent edge. But having it all right in front of me, I mean, we can go back to NBA and see if there's any good examples. But having it right in front of me, knowing, okay, all I have to do is literally just hop on this page, look for three seconds at the bet that I want, uh, and find the best line is great. So if I were to take this Bucks pacers game, I would take it on FanDuel at minus 110 over 236.5. Most of the books are offering it at 237 at minus 110, and the only book, the only other book that's offering it at 236.5 is MGM but they're giving it to me at minus 115. So not only am I getting a half a point less, but I'm also getting it for better odds than I were to on MGM. Now, this isn't so much a positive EV bet, but you're, like I said, you're still putting yourself in the position to have the most, you know, success. Okay, now you're you're winning on 237 instead of pushing, uh, which is great. I mean, like we talked about, like a push is still better than a loss, but I'd rather have a win than a push. So, um so a play like this, I would 100% take it on there. And you could see Pinnacle has it at minus 108 on the over, minus 104 on the under. So if I were to, you know, if I like this game, line shop, find the best line, and I would be taking it on FanDuel um, at 236.5. So it's just these little tricks about, you know, grabbing an edge. The lines are set for a reason. Clearly, all the books are in agreement, or for the most part, that this should be 237. But if you liked it, you know, if you think uh, Giannis is going to have a great game or you think, you know, obviously the Pacers have no defense. If you really think it's going to be a high scoring game, then you might as well, you know, take advantage of the odds that these sports books are, are given to you or giving to you and and take the best line you can. Same thing here. Right. Like, I mean, you know, 231 and a half everywhere else for the most or it's kind of split between 231 and a half, 232. Um, and you just kind of go from there. And if you just want to look at normal rebounds, normal assists, you know, points, you can look at anything you want just by, you know, clicking a couple buttons and it highlights uh, in green, like which is the best bet. So right here, you can see Aaron Neesmith, every book has him at uh, 11 and a half, uh, you know, almost even odds. I would say the over slightly favored at 11 and a half, but we can grab it at 12 and a half. On Barstool, it's the same thing. It's not that the odds are messed up, but the line is just messed up, and, and they don't have all, uh, you know, all points for for players. So you're not going to see this on the EV page. You're not going to see it on the R page. You're not going to see it anywhere, but you will see it on the screen page. So it's just another tool that I use that I've you know I've found to have a lot of success with, um, with you know, looking for you know main market plays the night before, early in the morning before all that alt stuff is released. Um, I've taken plays where the line has moved, you know, four, five, six points in my direction. Uh, but I've also been able to find really strong plays on the uh, the DFS platforms, like I said, price picks, underdog, stuff like that, where the whole number won't show up anywhere else. But you can see it because it's just all the odds. All of those odds from the sports books are scraped and collected into one place. And that's right here. And it's super convenient, super quick. And uh, and I've like I said, I've had a ton of success with it. So, you know, I kind of want to show you guys. Uh, what I use it for. Uh, I don't know if you guys have used it before uh, or not, but if you have, you know, I'd love to hear how you use it. Cause I'm, you know, I'm always looking for new ways to kind of improve my strategies and to get better and to get sharper and stuff like that. So um, hearing any of your guys' opinions takes would, would mean a lot to me. Anyhow, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not too much to it. Like I said, it's very straightforward. It's just, it's a screen that shows you all the odds of every book highlights, which are the best lines um, and it's a great tool to be an advantage, uh, or a sharp sports better. So as always, if you have any comments, questions, make sure to uh, comment them down below and, uh, that's about it. So thanks guys.